I was expecting it to be bad, but... No time to waste. We need to find them. Rook, you turned up. We could use the help. The dragon's tearing up the city, and the Venatori are taking advantage of the chaos to seize control. I've heard they've made it all the way to the Archon's palace. Forget the Venatori for now. We need to stop the dragon. We can't fight it while it's flying. We need to ground it. If we can keep it here, we can stop it from destroying the city. All right, let's see if I can get its attention. Ah! 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 
and the last few mortal servants of the Dreadwolf. Gillinade. We need only one thing from you. Surrender it, and you may go. Give up the Dreadwolf's dagger. Come get it. By force, then. Whatever remains of you will become my new creation. She's blighted. There's a strange feeling to me. The gods corrupted her. What? That's unexpected. What should we do? What we came to do. God of the rain.
It's gone, but it's wounded. Gillanine will heal it. Then it'll come back stronger. If only we were faster or figured out its weaknesses a little quicker. And we have to keep it grounded. Take the win. Dragon's still out there, but it could have been worse. It would have been worse if you weren't here. There's another dragon in Treviso. Maybe there's still time. Let's go. Hold on, Lucanus. We're on our way. We chased away the dragon in Enrathis. Did you kill the one? We did not. That monster flew around the city for hours before it left, utterly out of reach. It rained ice on the city and spread blight in the canals. And while this was happening, you chased a dragon out of Tevinter instead of the one attacking your own city. These are our people, Rook. I returned to find them suffering under the Antam, and now? They rampage in the aftermath while Blight chokes our city. Tell me you don't want blood for this. You were both crows, our best. I thought you and the others would handle it. You know Treviso was never built to withstand something like this. There is a reason I keep telling you to stop and think, Rook. So why act like one more crow could have done anything? Because you always think of something. You always do. Except this time. Perhaps someone should have strangled these gods long ago. But I do not care for what could have happened while this city bleeds. And I would rather have Rook's help than not. Wouldn't you? What I want does not matter. Better to focus on what Treviso needs. We've much to do, Rook. When I can be spared, I'll find you. Time might serve us both. All right. Blighted dragons, Darkspawn obeying the Venatori? Maybe Solus will know something.
Greetings, friends. Chance Candide at your service. I'm Rook. A fellow crow. I could use your help. The blight has piled itself onto the streets, choking off the city. <laughs> we cannot have it. I will mark where it is worst. Please, go and clear it away. I see a Grey Warden in your party. You must know how to handle blight, Sir Warden. Just leave it to us. <laughs> Gladly. How did it go? We've sealed the public entrances that lead to the worst of the blight. It is all we can do for now. Running around the city with the blight? I don't even recognize these streets. I hear you're the one who got that fancy Alluvian up and running. I did. Well, most of the way. So much blight. I thought the people. What were we saying? I hear you're the one who got that fancy Alluvian up and running. I did. Well, <sighs> most of the way, everyone helped out. Here we go! That's what Chance wanted us to clear out. There's something awful about seeing light like this in the city. Target those light boards. That should be good. Working. We're weakening it.
Dark Spawn. Down like that? I've heard some of the new ones do.
was off about it. This darkspawn's wearing a necklace. The pendant's shaped like a crow. Specifically like the crow representing House Dereva. We need to show this to Chance. Chance, we got rid of the blight in the streets, but we also found this crow pendant on a dark spawn. Is that? <sighs> this was Ayers, our trainer for the fledglings. She went missing. That dark spawn you fought must have been. <sighs> May she rest. 
And sadly, I must ask you to search for another wayward crow. Who is it? Fletcher. Our provider of fine goods is also missing. They were sending me reports of Antom movements. <clears throat> Despite this blight, our invaders are planning something. Here are Fletcher's roots. If the blight found them, they deserve a clean end. Like any crow. I heard what you did. Jacobus. You're a crow. You're supposed to be one of us and you left Treviso to die. Just don't talk to me. It makes me sick. Seems blight every time I look out a window. How's Treviso? More and more people are streaming into the field hospital we set up in the market. It is at least good to know so many survived the dragon and the blight. We will do what we can for them. that fancy Luvian up and running. I did. Well, most of the way, everyone helped out. So tell me, how safe is it? Any reason to be worried? Oh, you shouldn't worry at all. So safe then? No, just worrying won't help. Whatever happens would be instantaneous. Uh huh. That's reassuring. Anta make demands, friends, but so do the crows, that are protectors of the market is a field hospital now? Good to see the sick and injured are being treated.
I heard about this not as Durthalan spirit you found. I sure didn't expect that. Be careful. Things that pop out of nowhere usually bite you in the ass. Like Hassan? <laughs> and that beak of his hurts. Watcher!
sealed tube with notes and code? We should take this back to Chance and let him know Fletcher's at peace. Chance, we found Fletcher. <clears throat> Make her guide them to your side. Fletcher also had these notes. <laughs> Always scrupulous. If this is information on the Antum... <clears throat> <clears throat> Are you all right? <laughs> Merely a cold. Thank you, my friends. I must now think and figure out what the Antum are plotting. When last we spoke, you were hunting for followers of Elganan and Gilanane in hopes of finding... specifics. Has your search been successful? You could say that. It looks like both the Venatori and the Antom are working for Elganan and Gilanane. Unsurprising. The Venatori want magical secrets, and the Antom want to destroy anyone opposing their brutal expansion. Both will readily bow to anyone who promises them power. 
and they're using that power to hurt a lot of people. The Ontom and the Venatori both have dragons doing their bidding. Dragons? That is worse than I had feared. Yeah. We drove off the one the Venatori brought into Minrathis. Barely. Have you determined how the dragons are being directed? If it is blood magic, it may be possible to disrupt their control. The dragons were blighted. We think that's what let the gods control them. The blight? Of course. The blight seems to be the gods' favored tool right now. We ran into Venatori who could control Darkspawn. Algernon would not bestow such power unless the Darkspawn were to serve as the main force of his army. And I suspect Gilanane will see the Darkspawn as new subjects for her... modifications. We've already run into a few Darkspawn nobody has seen before. That's in addition to the Blighted Dragons. That is the fate Elganan and Gilanane planned for this world then. Corruption and Blighted Slavery. Right. Everyone should be free and uncorrupted when your demons and raw magic kill them. Do you truly believe my goal was to destroy this world? I believe your goal, like you said, was to transfer the gods to a better prison. The one you're stuck in now. And you were willing to tear down the veil and destroy this world while you did so. The veil is a wound I cut into the Fade in a moment of desperation. While making their prison, it should not exist. I had a host of spirits ready to help when the veil fell. They would have minimized the loss of life. We thought you were just bringing the veil down to destroy everything. If we'd known... Thousands would still have perished. Varric would never have agreed to such a plan. Why would you agree to it? The world is broken because of my past choices. It falls to me to heal it. Even if that healing comes with a cost. Spoken like a god. I am not a god. I am as I have always been. A man. All too aware of his failings. But equally aware that if he did not act, accepting the judgment it would bring, all would be lost. They call me the Dread Wolf. What will they call you when this is over? I've got enough problems right now as it is. That's one for future Rook to deal with. Pragmatism. You will focus on the present, knowing that someday you will face the consequences of your choices. I believe I can work with that. If the gods are using dragons, you will wish to find someone trained to fight them. Have you unlocked the Lighthouse Alluvian? Yeah. We found the crossroads. It's still confusing, though. I cannot help you from in here. You may need to find an expert in the magic of the Fade. And if the Darkspawn are to be Elganon's army, you will need Grey Wardens to fight them. I've got a few of them. Their leaders don't trust me right now, though. I have faith in you, Rook. You seem to have a knack for gaining the cooperation of your adversaries. Solus thinks we need a dragon hunter and a fade expert. He's right, about the dragon hunter at least. Rook, when I was with the Inquisition, I saw some terrible things. But what happened to Treviso? I mean... So much death. Lucanus stayed behind. He said he'll be back soon, but... At least you took care of yours. We heard it but didn't kill it. The dragon flew off before we could put it down. A dragon hunter would have helped him in Rathas, that's for sure. That's hindsight talking. We didn't know a blighted dragon was coming, or that we'd need someone who could take it down. We can't forget the second dragon in Treviso. We should see how we can help, but... We're without Lucanus until he's done helping the crows. Who knows how long? Hey, let's not get stuck in our regrets, all right? Just so we're clear, you're taking advice from this elven god, Solus. The Solus who tried to tear down the veil? You really trust him? Trust is such a strong word, you know? So you don't trust him? Eh. All right then. 
So, a Fade expert and a Dragon Hunter. I'll ask around about Dragon Hunters and see what turns up. Come talk to me in a bit. And I've been corresponding with someone about the Lighthouse's reverberative oscillations and the resulting dimensional peculiarities. Oh, sorry. Not relevant. I'll get a message through to a Fade expert immediately. <laughs> see, Rook? Nothing to worry about. All right. We all know what to do. Let's get going. What? You're hungry? I found a yam in the kitchen. <coughs> Stubborn just means you'll starve. Trouble settling in? Doing the best I can. My job was to keep the Griffins safe, not fix their dinner. I meant Asan. Oh. <laughs> I guess we're both adjusting. Then where did Asan and the others come from? Way I heard him. Someone found a journal a few years back that mentioned a secret clutch of eggs. They'd been hidden for centuries, protected by a ward. Started hatching and out came 13 talkative griffins. Now, down to just one. What's the history between Grey Wardens and griffins? Back in the day, Grey Wardens raised them as aerial cavalry. When a blight got going, Wardens rode them into battle. Eventually, war took its toll. They died out. Well, a confused griffin should fit right in around here. Appreciate it. There's no training manual for them anymore. I guess we'll figure it out together. <laughs> Griffins don't trust easily. Lancet and Remy had to work to win them over. They said a warden and a griffin have to move as one. Think as one. They call it Turlum. A sort of unity. But now, they're both dead. Why'd the Gloomhaller attack the Airy? I intend to find out. First it stalks Wardens. Now it's after the Griffins. Don't worry. You and I have a deal. We'll find them. Appreciate that. Though it sounds like you've got your hands full around here. Just a tad. Elgernon and Gilanane. Hard to believe. Our very own elven gods are ending the world. That'll endear us to the rest of Thetis. But I have to say, killing a monster is one thing. Taking down the goddess of all monsters and the god of vengeance while you're at it? I know. Our problem around here is we think too small. <laughs> okay, then. Good to know the boss can laugh about it. Not really, but dwelling on things won't help. <laughs> What? I told you. It's yams or nothing. Or maybe you need a new menu.
if that dragon had taken Mimrathus. I hate to think what the Venatori might do with that sort of chaos. A lot of people are alive. A lot of people have a chance, thanks to us. But we broke Lucanus out of the ossuary. He could finally go home, and now... What happens to Treviso now? So I put the word out for dragon hunters, and I've heard back about someone who might work. It's a woman named Tosh from a group of Ravani treasure hunters called the Lords of Fortune. Sounds promising. An agent for the Lords said that Tosh is working on a mission for them along the Ravane coast. If we help her, she'll be free to join us and fight any blighted dragons the gods throw our way. What do you know about what's going on in Ravane right now? Not much more than you do. Varric and I never went there while hunting Solas. The Kunari were on pretty good terms with Ravane, but that was before the Antam military broke away from the rest of the Kuhn. I wouldn't be surprised if the Antam invaded Ravane like they did Treviso and Eastern Tevinter. All right. Guess we'll be ready. Thanks for finding a contact. There can't be that many professional dragon hunters around. Time to find out if the crossroads can get us to an alluvian in that area. We'll head out whenever you're ready. Okay, Ballara, what's your lead on getting us a fate expert uh, for the team? Good evening. Greetings. Rook, so we need a fate expert. I've been writing to a senior mage who fits the part, but right now he's on an expedition, so I reached out to his colleagues to find him. This is Lady Myrna and Vorgoth. They're necromancers, Mornwatch ones, I mean. Your friend's request for a fate expert was urgent. How dark some are things outside Navarra. About, uh, a six? I see. Bellara's correspondent is Professor Emric Volkarin, a fade expert and powerful psychogoth. You will need him. Where can I find him? The Professor is currently delving the shrouded halls in the Grand Necropolis. We will grant you passage to look for him. Where the dead. Lately, they grow restless. Offer, dweller. I will answer.
handful of Antam have left the city. Only a handful? I heard they feared the blight in the canals. Opportunists fleeing their easy perch. They should fear that damned butcher instead. Rook, you must find chance. What happened? He was here earlier. Deathly ill. Saying he had to see the market master. The market is filled with the sick and injured. If chance is blighted, or about to become a dark spawn, find him, Rook. We'll stay here in case he returns. Come on. We have to find Chance before he gets to the market. Got company. Now? Control? That's funny. I'm still trying not to drop things on my own feet. And I still don't know why this happened. Best not to question it yet. Is it though? Look there. Who killed all those onto? Did Chance do this? He was going to see the market master. Let's find her. What were we talking about? Best not to question it yet. Is it though? A gift? save someone's life I know I just wonder what's next so much suffering the gods are sending a warning to other cities excuse me did a crow named chance come by recently he saved us is what he did the Antam were planning a raid to steal our supplies for the injured. We heard them right outside the gates. Chance dealt with the brutes before they even set foot into the market. And he left you a note. Chance is blighted. He asked us to make sure he doesn't hurt anyone. He's waiting for us. 
in the Drown District. I hear that when the dragons attacked, you chose to help in Rathus over Treviso. I'd have expected different from a fellow crow. That's all I'll say on the matter. We're close to where Chance's note said he'd be.
beat the odds.
saved everyone in Treviso's market. I hope he realized that. Let's let Taya and Diaga know what happened here. None of them touched me. I will inspect you later. All right. We found Chance. He saved the market from Antam before Blight took him over. Thank you for giving him a kinder end. His name will be on the memorial we are building for all the lost. Please, visit later if you wish to see it. <laughs> 